Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Mark Dolfini. I am Landlord Coach. It is so good to see you all. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. And without any further delay, let's get into it. Drop the needle. Hey everybody, it is good to see you all. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Landlord Coach Daily Ish Show. It is good to see you. Today's going to be a short one, so yes, I'm not going to be taking attendance. You can just go ahead and uh, and log in if you like or not or whatever it is that you want to uh, do. And um, just uh, this is going to be a short one, whatever I'm trying to say. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to do pr produce this and do this all at the same time. So anyway, um, yeah, so you, if you can see in my show notes there, you're talking about, you know, what am I, uh, markets that are crushing it and markets that are getting crushed. And I went ahead and I want to thank the folks over at Zumper. I'm looking at this um, this uh, article that they posted, and it's a really, really interesting article about different um different real estate markets that are absolutely um, on a tear and other real estate markets that are absolutely getting gutted. And that's, uh, um, so it, it's, it, there's a double-edged sword there. And that's why, you know, again, as I go back to this, these blanket moratoriums that we see going out there, they just flat don't make any sense in terms of just saying, hey, let's just do blanket moratoriums because everybody's experiencing the same amount of trouble that um, everybody else is experiencing. And that's not the case. It seems like the most expensive rental markets right now are having the biggest difficulties. And that's um, that's the that's the interesting thing. So we're going to come back to that. But um, let's go ahead and start right now for the upward changes, right? So this is where the, 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 the housing uh, prices or the rental prices, rather, the rental prices are going up. And I really, uh, the, the, the names on this list are absolutely interesting to, there, there's some of these names I would not have expected. And wait till you see what number one is in terms of upward trend. So let's go ahead and check that out. So if you're looking, number one, um, and then the, uh, most of these were, were labeled across one bedroom apartments. I think they did it, did it across one and two bedroom. The article was really well written. I didn't see where they cited a lot of sources, but um, but uh, if you see here, Detroit, Detroit is number one on the list. It's upward trends, almost six percent from uh, last month, and um, I thought that was interesting. Chattanooga and Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, I would not put Chattanooga in the same realm as Cincinnati, Ohio, but evidently they are both tied. For second in the highest month over month increase, um, and uh, Norfolk, Virginia, that's interesting. That's number three. Laredo, Texas, is number four, and then Lincoln, Nebraska, rounding out the top five. And I thought that that was really, really interesting because, um, you know, when you're looking at Detroit, you're looking at Chattanooga. Again, those are markets that I don't, I don't really know. I know Cincinnati a little bit, um, but. Uh, from what I know of Chattanooga and Cincinnati, I would not consider them even even remotely even compatible in terms of the types of um, the the types of units that they have. But uh, evidently, they are both tied for second. So again, in terms of increases, I would not have thought Cincinnati would have been on that list because I would have thought that their their pricing would have been much higher. But evidently, they got pricing power there in Cincinnati, Ohio. Interesting to, to see that. Um, now for the downward spikes. Now this is where the list is gets a little bit more nefarious, but um, yeah, this sucks to see. But unfortunately, there's some. This is where the there's a lot of people hurting. And Washington D.C. has the largest decrease in one bedroom. They are the number one on the list in terms of decreases, and they are just over five percent decrease in price. So a one bedroom rent was twenty fifty two thousand fifty dollars, and I guess that's down. Um, from last month. San Francisco was the second highest decrease at, uh, at exactly 5% from last month. Um, they're still ranked as uh, the most expensive rental market with one bedroom medium price at $3,040. I have absolutely no idea how a family makes it there in San Francisco. That's just crazy, crazy rent for one bedroom. <clears throat> um, New York is uh, number three. That um, if you heard me talk about the um, the rotten apple a, little, a few days ago, and all the the that they're just basically getting gutted, trying to have enticements for people to come back to the city, it's just not happening. 
Here's the thing that I found really interesting on this list was Akron, Ohio. It was the least expensive rental market of the 100 that were tracked on the on this particular report, but it had the fourth largest decrease at 4.9%. Now, uh, I guess that might be because of the clientele maybe that are in that market. Um, but for that to be, that's actually very surprising because I would not have thought Akron was... Um, uh, would have been anywhere near that much. And then Minneapolis has the fifth largest decrease in one bedroom median price at 4.3% from last month. And that kind of, that uh, that surprises me a little bit too, just because I would have never thought that the that the market there was a little bit, was, was even remotely expensive enough for the, to have that much of a decrease. But um, apparently those are, so again, for uh, uh, on the top of the bottom list, is Washington, D.C., San Francisco, New York, New York, Akron, Ohio, and Minneapolis, Minnesota. So um, that's what I, um, in, in terms of that list, now people who, who invest in different markets and they maybe invest across the United States, maybe they're looking for opportunities, you know, to maybe invest in some of these least expensive markets um, uh, where they can catch the, the run up or maybe do, uh, have a play where they're trying to catch some of these most expensive markets as they're on their way down. Because I know that there's going to be people um, maybe looking to sell on the way up, which makes a lot of sense, um, or just trying to recover and, and stay alive with by, by maybe getting rid of some of the properties that they have in some of the more expensive markets. I can see that too, just because people people got to pay bread. You know, they got they got to pay for their they got to pay for their bread. They got to buy bread. They got to pay for their bills, and they can't do that if they don't have money coming in. So. Um, that's, uh, that's really all I have today. The, the, uh, the, the link I went to go ahead and post in the show notes from zumper.com. Um, and, uh, that they just thought it was a very well written article about, uh, you know, one bedroom and two bedroom medium prices, um, in terms of the most expensive and on the top of the list, the top five most expensive are, uh, San Francisco, New York, New York, Boston, San Jose and Oakland, California. None of those really shock me. They all tend to be on the coasts. Um, LA was actually a number six. That's actually kind of surprising. I would have thought that would have been higher. But anyway, um, those are uh, that's what I have for today. So um, one other thing really fast. I was driving back from having lunch with my bride. We didn't get to have a long lunch today, but we had uh, lunch. And there was a guy literally standing on the corner shaking an apple tree. Yeah, I never thought that that would be a thing that I would actually see. He's, I don't know if he was... I hope I don't know if he even owned the tree, but it was on the side of the road, and he's literally shaking this tree for the apples. So I don't know. Maybe he's going to go pay, make a pie. Whatever. <laughs> That's all I have for today, guys. Please make sure that you place a value on your free time because if you don't, someone else will. But most important, there is no amount of money that will make time irrelevant. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Have a great good. Have a great day, guys. Take good care.